what is going on guys in this video we are going to create our first simple calculator application with jetpack compose so we will get to know how the text field works how we can take the input from the user how we can calculate them on the button click also we will learn how we'll arrange those items in column and row so let's get started with new android studio project so click on new project select empty activity this is for composable click on next give the application name my calculator select minimum sdk build configuration language let it be recommended one click on finish it will take some time to create our jetpack compose project let's first run the application so we have this hello world that means our project is created correctly get back to the project and we'll remove everything this greeting preview this greeting method as well as this my calculator theme everything we will remove as of now we will create our own simple ui i will add the emulator side by side now let's create the ui so here in set content we have to pass the composables so first composables we have so first thing we will add is text field so how to add text field text field is one composable so text field you can see over here we have value and on value change we don't have to worry about this for now let's pass value as zero for now and on value change we have to pass a function which takes a string so here let's pass a function curly braces we can give here you will get a string so this will be the string whatever the value we put in the text field so if i run this you can see we have this text field so we will add another as well so we can copy this paste it below if i rerun here we have two added text but they are overlapped so for that what we can do we can add this in a column so in set content we will add a column which is a composable which will take the composable list if i cut this out paste it over here if I rerun, now you can see we have two text field. If you go over here and write something, it won't work because every time it is value zero. Whenever we type something, it will be rebuilt and the value will be zero. So we have to remember this state. We have to remember the value so that every time it is built, it will be take from that value, not the zero every time. So for that, what we can do, we can create a variable, let's say num1 by remember if you import remember you can go to import statement and instead of this remember i will do star runtime dot star close this inside this i will pass mutable state of now the value so that will be zero now num1 will be remembered so here instead of zero i will pass num1 and on value change we are getting something here we are getting it whatever we type here it will be stored on it so it will be num1 equals to it now if i run the app here let's say 100 now it is being stored in num1 and we are able to see over here for text field 2 we are not doing anything it won't work so here also we will do same thing let's copy this num2 by remember and here we will pass num2 and whenever we type num2 equals to it so in this way every time we type something it will assign to num1 and num2 so this is done so now we are getting the value in num1 and num2 now we need to calculate so for calculating we will add a button so we'll add some buttons over here let's add first button that will be button so on click of that button we will do something let's remove this to do and here inside this row scope we will pass text composable that will be add if I run it you can see we have this add button so on click of this add button we can do something what we can do we can get the value from num1 and num2 and just add that so for that what I will do I will create a variable result equals to num1 dot it is a string so we have to convert it to int plus num2 dot to int will convert num1 to int num2 to int and we'll add this so we'll show this result in a toast here toast dot make text application context uh, answer will be result is let's concat result toast length will be short and so so whenever we click on this add button it will store the result in result variable and it will show a toast let's run and test if it works or not let's add 10 20 add you can see result is 30 that means it is working if i make if i make 200 you can see 210 
so this is working it is taking the value from text field it is storing the result and it is showing the result so button is also working now let's add three more buttons to subtract divide and multiply i'll copy this button paste it below let's make it sub and we can make it here minus if i run it 100 50 subtract result is 50 that means this is also working so here we are adding all the composables in column let's say i want to arrange this add subtract multiply buttons in a row so what we can do inside this column here after text field i will add a row you can add row and inside this row scope i will add these two buttons let's cut this out paste it inside row now if i run now you can see inside a column we have three items text field text field and a row and inside that row we have two buttons in this way row and columns work if you want to add space in this add and subtract button what you can do we have another composable that is spacer so spacer is one composable here you can pass a modifier modifier we will learn later for now modifier dot width because here we want width so we will pass a width so let's pass 16 dp so you need to import this dp import now if i run you can see we have this space over here 16 dp we have space in this add and subtract now let's add two more button i'll copy this spacer i'll copy this button and paste it below this spacer here i will do multiply i will write mul again i will copy this spacer and button here i will do division and i will write div if i run this so let's give 100 let's give 50 let's click one by one add subtract multiply everything is working so in this way you can create a basic calculator app in jetpack compose so this video was just to learn about text field how we can get the inputs how we can calculate them how we can store in a variable so that it will be remembered and also how we can arrange the items in row and columns if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye